Hi guys, this is an update video, right? Arclix is like Archlix, a rolling release, right? Remember, Arclix equals 90% of Archlix packages, 5 from Arco and 5 from AOR. That's it. Now, this is the ISO. We can show you that here. Nope, that's not what I want to do. This one, this is the old ISO from December. We're going to give you the ISOs for November, a little bit earlier, right? And the thing is, you need to update the system always. And rolling, keeping, keeping rolling means it's not a release every six months and then everything needs to be transferred from one version to the other. That sounds like an Ubuntu or a Linux Mint thing. So you keep on installing. In this video, we show you how to get from A to B from the beginning of October till, well, beginning of November, right? It's a little bit earlier. The thing is, I want to repeat what's very important. The easy installation is when you go for the bits and the bytes and just put it from the CD-ROM, yeah, the ISO, to your system. So that it does not require any internet, no. It's a very simple, easy installation, like Ubuntu might be, right? It does not, you do not need really knowledge about packages and conflicts and all that. It's just click, 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 who are you, where do you live, right? So that's the one I'm gonna do. But this one, remember, the, this, this ISO is built like end of, um, of September, right? Because it's the ISO for October, meaning a few weeks before we built the ISOs, we test them all out. Does this has packages? Well, a lot of packages need to be updated. If you ask the system, pseudo Pacman, right? Let's see how much it is. Pseudo Pacman minus SYYU is gonna say to you, this is what we'll do, right? Wow, right? One gigabyte of updates not in here of course it's a live environment not in here now i want to show you the xenmod things right the kernels are very recent and articlex is built that way that you have in an iso of a month ago two months ago three months ago four months ago you'll see things that we just only launched a week ago, two weeks ago, right? And anything I push out today is on an ISO of years ago, even that, right? So next, 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 there are also other things that are new that I've pushed out. This one is new, right? Next. In audio, there is Ambrel that's new. So always take a look at the, the stuff that we put on here because yeah, sometimes we add some packages to the list without saying because hey, it's not that important, but it's it's a package list and we keep adding stuff that you suggest to us that you say, hey Eric, why not add this to the list? Okay, fine, poof, it's there. So this is, ah um, oh yeah, there's one more thing that is important for you guys to know in our videos, then it's, it's spread around the knowledge. We're stopping with the F2FS, done, right? Because of the grub uh, install, the package of grub is changed. You know that in the September periods of 2021, the issues we've had, and I'll, uh, with testing all these 33 ISOs, I've seen, I test everything, right? All these guys, I test them all, and I've seen it's broken. So F2FS is out. If you have old ISOs, just, just skip it, just don't use it, use any, any of the other guys, but not F2FS. So the rest is just next, 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 and you, off you go and, and do your stuff, right? This is a rolling release, I, I'm, I'm an update video, sorry. Meaning I need to first install the old stuff. This is the old stuff. This is the beach installation I sometimes say. It's an offline installation. What you see, you will get, right? And in the advanced, you will also get what you see, but you select the Xanmod kernel and you want uh, any application out there and you just click, click, click and everything gets 
gets downloaded, takes time. Do we have a fast internet? Okay, then it will be fast. Otherwise, it will take a lot of time. Do you have a fast computer? No, ah, it will take a lot more time to install all the packages that you've selected. And there's also, I always do one, one system where I select everything inside Calamars and then let it in, download and let it install, right? It takes time. I've never really um, measured it, but it's like huge amount of time and just let the machine do its work and maybe, I don't know, I think it's below one hour, but <laughs> it's the long time. So think about that, right? Whatever you select is is gonna be is gonna be downloaded. I mean, it's not on the CD-ROM, on the DVD or the ISO, because otherwise it would be too huge. If you want to know how huge, I've made an, an, an ISO on Aklingsb.com, the biggest games ISO ever, and it was around five gigabytes, just the games, right? So yeah, everything has its place and has its, its uh, size. And if you want it all on the ISO, that's possible. But uh, then you build it yourself. That's the arclixb.com website. That's what it's for. Add anything you want to it, Steam or anything. Voila, let's wait for this to install. And then we're making the how to stay rolling video. And we'll see what questions Archlinx will ask us. All right. All right, let's have a look what happens if we reboot. So staying rolling, click on the button. And then you get uh, a system that's so, well, three, four weeks old, which means when you boot up again, you need to update. Now we see what Arginix will throw at us. Often it's just a very simple thing you need to do. Right, don't show, don't show and quit. If wallpapers change, maybe huh, give you the advice, check out this little icon here. It's the variety thing, start variety, don't wanna start variety, change variety, change wallpaper on start. And the other day I found again a question about how to get the things from add and then wallhaven. Ooh, that's so that's a strange thing. He see crashed, right? Or no, it did not crash. It's just, it just changed. I just changed desktop. So in here we have different desktop. So I did a scroll and that happens. If you do an abstract, for instance, as tag, enter a keyword, then it's gonna get the Wallhaven abstract. We do know the share backgrounds out of our mind. I mean, it's, it's, it's ours, right? So that's gone, close. And the variety can be fun. Just know it's there because yeah, it will change your, look at that, all right? It will change your way how you perceive it all. It, this is all coming from Wallhaven, nothing to do with us whatsoever. Close. How to update? Simple, Control T. I'm not going to panic. I want you to go and read what happens and learn code so ATSBI blah, 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 blah. we they want us to replace a name so you can in the package build of a package you can tell replace a with B and that's this and all you have to say is enter or yes capital Y means if you enter it it's gonna be a yes the same here ATK is re being replaced with another name fine so that's the package that's uh, the name package that changes look at all the rough oof, lots of things right and you see all the uh, versions behind it so we're gonna update our system it's gonna take more or less one gigabyte to download total install three and two hundred well under 80 megabyte more and let machine do its work our little pacmans are eating up all the zeros there and it's all in parallel download so etc slash etc slash pacman.conf that's where the heart is the configuration is of our package manager hence the name pacman right so have a look at the arch wiki pacman and and read because that's the most um well important page our package manager is the most important thing to work with and then we get our our first thing right the word could you could type that in as well 
Arch Wiki Keyring and have a look what do they say. So we want to import something from TJ. Fine, you say yes. Now either this works, this key import, or it does not. It's always important to tell again and again in every single video, sudo pacman minus s, update your system. If you have not updated, this y is gonna update it. Arch links, and read the Arch Wiki pacman keyring. That's something you need to remember. Arch Linux keyring. Go get it if you have key problems. That's the first reflex you should have on anything Arch Linux based. Eh? We're not teaching you Arch Linux, eh? we're teaching you Linux. And we happen to be on Arch, and that's the thing you need to remember on Arch. Anything Arch Linux based, Endeavor is Garuda, Archcraft, you name it, right? The keys, the signing keys, get them in because this is the new list. And maybe it's in there, right? Maybe it is already in there. You just scroll. And here he is. Arch Linux Keyring. The one from September 27-1. That's the one we're going to use. And more updates will come every month or every two months, every three months. But it's a reflex you should have. If keys, then Arch Linux Keyring. Another reflex. That's typical. Arch Linux then. That's the key fix. I see, see still people type all kinds of very, uh, well, difficult stuff. But as a beginner, um, this is it. Key fix and key fix with a Z and then key fix. I mean, we've made so many aliases that you can't mistype it anymore. It has to be a key fix or fix key. It's all there. So with the F, I'm looking at the all the aliases that we've made. There is fix key with a dash and fix keys with an S and there is also key fix and so on and so on, right? Key fix and key fix and keys fix, anything you could type, anything that could, uh, well, you, if, if memory doesn't serve well, right? Everything that, uh, that might be remembered partially, well, that's gonna be launching that little application. So if I going to have a look at this particular file, if I can, there it is. Well, this is okay. If you want to learn this by, by, uh, by head, is that the word by, by memory? I mean, I don't, right? It removed this, it removed that. It's going to initialize, going to populate. I want to learn it one time and then run just simple word fix key. So basically this is fix key. So if it's not on your systems because updating and staying rolling, and uh, voila, you did not update completely, then this is the fix key, right? This is the content of that little alias pointing to a script. So that's all about key rings. Now, what we also do every single time is tell you how to stay rolling inside the bin, stay rolling 2022 from seven to nine now from nine to 10. But is there anything to say to do? No, right? So it will be a folder saying nothing to do. Just update. And of course, maybe last but not least, up all is something else an update. Up all an update is, well, there is something to do, but not for, for scripting anyway. That's um, up all is looking at Paru, is using Paru. So up all is gonna say, check the system. So Arclinx and Arclinx. But if you installed packages from AUR, it's gonna check that too. Is there anything I should update from there? So that's gonna be also um, checked, right? The AUR. So I was just thinking, um, this one has been explained already. You can name number these packages any way you like, right? And the maintainer of this little package says, I'm gonna change my numbering system. So all you need to do is install it again. That's it. So that's already explained. We put these things on, on social media, Discord, Telegram, become part of it. Read the official channel on Discord, read the pinned messages in Telegram, and off you go and um, done. Now there are two things that Arch Linux threw out of the 
uh, Arch ISO packages, I, the, 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 the Relang files there, he, they said, decided not to have these two anymore on an archlinks.org ISO. So you decide whether you need this or, or not. I think we can still investigate. Let's have a look. So if you say, oh, what's this about? Right, and then you say, let's search IPW. And that's for Intel, Centrino, drivers, firmware, blah, blah, blah. So if you say, mm, not in my machine, right, not even close, then you say, fine, I don't need this. And then it's no problem at all to just say, remove IPW. But I'll leave that up to you. I won't put this in a script. It's you decide whether you need this or not. I think I made a typo there. So 2100, 2200, voila. So these two were on the Arch ISO, the Arch Linux ISO. Hence they were on the Arch Linux ISO. They decided to remove it. We decide, you decide, not me. You decide to remove it if you don't need it. And you see all these things, that's strange. That it has so many dependencies. It's probably still to the references, but DD and it is really gone, All right? Hold package was found in target list. Pacman is designed as hold package. Uh-huh. Yeah, better hold that package. Dependency breaks the pen and remo removing Pacman. No, I don't want to remove Pacman. I just want to remove these two. Why is doing that? Require by Parum bin. No, I don't want to continue, but what should I type then again? Oh my God, it's still very early in the morning. Look what I typed, pseudo Pacman, pseudo Pacman. What did I type there? <laughs> pseudo Pacman minus R, remove. Let's try again and without the DD, we're not gonna need it maybe, I don't know. I don't think I have needed it in my machine, so it was just a typo, guys. It's still early in the morning. What should I do with Duncan? Okay, so voila, that's it. Now you can remove these two. There is no DT necessary, no S necessary. It's just these two files. If you don't need them, you don't need them. Bye. And off they are. That's it. Up all, we're back to a normal look. This is the normal look. And maybe last but not least, we're on the new 5.19 in here. Well, you all will say now, new, new, that's not new. So restart after big updates like these, you restart and then you come to the conclusion that we have a new kernel. I still hear the words of Linus Torvalds, it's just a number guys, don't expect too much from five to six or six to seven or seven to eight. In the end, there are even, there's sometimes very minor releases that contain more stuff than a big release like five to six but anyway we're on six yay right and don't forget um, if you have issues with stuff stuff meaning drivers of all kinds of um, uh, intel wireless or lan or webcams and whatever there is something new right a new kit on the block you can install one zen mod two zen mod edge three XenMod LTS and together with all the headers. So that's something else you can try and even works on VirtualBox. It's all good. All right, enjoy our clicks. That's it for me. That's how we update from December, sorry, uh, October to November. That's it. <laughs> Cheers.